you right in, but I'm not about to let that ruin my day. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Crystal here. I literally just got out of class and I wanted to come and make this video because I miss you guys. We are in the third week of my second semester in nursing school and also because a lot of you guys commented on my last nursing video that you were starting your very first nursing semester this semester or you're, this is your last semester of prereqs and you're getting ready to apply to your program. Although I passed my first semester with flying colors, I wanted to reevaluate myself and see what I liked, what I didn't like, the mistakes that I made, and what I needed to fix to continue into this second semester. So today's video is mistakes that I have made so far in nursing school. So the very first mistake that I made was trying to study at home. Yes. So I would get out of class at 12 o'clock and I would come home. I wouldn't have to pick up my daughter until 4.30. So I'd say, I'm going to go home and study, get some work done, be productive. But when I would come home, I would see my bed and I would say, yeah, I'm just going to take like a 30 minute nap. And that 30 minute nap would turn into an hour and a half nap. And then by that time, I had to go pick up my daughter. And when I picked up her, and brought her home and my husband got home like I couldn't study because they were there distracting me and then I would find reasons to not study that sound like a good reason for instance I would say I need to do this laundry and then once I finish this laundry I'm gonna study or I need to wash the dishes and once I get that done I'm gonna study but then it would be too late it would be time to go to bed and do it all over again the next day so studying at home didn't work for me because home was too comfortable so what I would do is I would get out of class at 12 and I would go to Starbucks or the library and study and get work done and go pick up my daughter when it was time to go pick her up versus coming home. And that helped a lot. So I'm not the type of person that can study at home. I don't have that much willpower. So yes, that was a mistake that I made. Another mistake that I made was not utilizing the number one resource that we have as nursing students, which is the books. I... To say that I spent $2,000 on books, like you wouldn't think that I did because I wasn't utilizing the books. So for each, we had about eight units the last semester and for each unit we had probably about 10 to 12 chapters to read. And if you don't have a life, if you don't have any kids, if you don't work, reading 12 chapters doesn't seem like a lot. But to someone who has a, has a husband and a, a home to take care of and a daughter, a three-year-old that's very demanding, reading a lot is can be tough. So I start to skim the chapters, pay attention to things that I was, was a little bit confused on, or if there was a gap in my knowledge, then I would go and read up on that more in the book. I would read the chapter summaries, answer the questions that they had in the book, and that way I wasn't missing that whole just resource there. Like I would still use my notes, lecture and everything, but I, I, I actually used the book. Now this semester I have, we just started and I have been reading the chapters, I'm very proud of myself. So it is doable, it's just kind of tough, but it's doable. So that was my second mistake, not utilizing the book as much as I should have. Another mistake that I made last semester was learning for the test and taking the test and forgetting the information. Not necessarily forgetting the information, just not retaining it as much as I needed to. Not so much in skills labs because everything we did in skills labs, it was kind of hard to forget because that means if we did it in skills lab, we're able to do it in the clinical setting. So that's hands-on. That's kind of hard to forget if you're doing it with your hands, you know, every week. But we would have one unit, we would have a week or two of lecture, have a test. And that exact day that we have the test, after the test, we start another unit, start lecturing on another unit. So I would study, get everything in my brain for the test, and then once the test was over, I had to move space and make room for the next test. So it was, it was kind of hard to retain that information. So by the time the final came, which was everything we've ever done throughout the entire semester, I had to go back and try to relearn some stuff. And even now, in 
the second semester, you're building on everything that you learned in the first semester. So I'm finding that I'm having to kind of go back and kind of review, which is fine. I mean, it's, 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 it's new information, so you're not going to remember every single thing, but I'm having to find a way to retain all the information. So that was a mistake that I made, taking, learning the information just to take the test and then forgetting it. And then when the final came, having to try to relearn everything. And this semester is everything from first semester and second semester. And third semester is everything from first, second, and third semester. So that's definitely something I'm gonna have to figure out what a better way to do that. This mistake that I made was not taking initiative in clinical. Now, you guys know that clinical stressed me out so bad. I'm not gonna say it stressed me out, it just caused me to get anxious. Like, I had so much anxiety. I was scared, I was so scared of clinical. How you wanna be a nurse, but you scared of clinicals. You scared to, to do the stuff that nurses do. But it's not that, it's just a new environment. Like, new things always get you out of your comfort zone, and I was definitely out of my comfort zone. So. I would kind of back off like if it was something to do like I would kind of hesitate before jumping into it and I regret that. I was kind of shy because everything was so busy, the nurses were busy and some of the nurses ain't got time for students and you don't want to ask questions because they tired of answering questions. They have students there probably every day of the week and so it kind of makes you kind of you know, I regret that. And now in clinical, like I don't care if I'm getting on your nerves. I don't care if the patient is tired of seeing me. I don't care if the patient is grumpy. Like I'm going to be a sponge and absorb everything. I'm gonna step out and I'm going to do what I need to do to learn because you only get this experience once and then next semester you're doing so much other stuff. Like, the very last mistake that I made last semester was not studying a little bit every single day. If you talk to a lot of people who have already been to nursing school, they're gonna say, stay ahead, don't get behind. And it's true, because if you get behind, you're gonna be playing catch up the rest of the semester. So not studying something every single day really was a mistake on my part. Even if it's only 30 minutes, even if it's when you're getting in the bed and you pull out your phone and you practice some practice questions on whatever your test is gonna be on, or if you just read through your notes for five minutes or whatever, you make flashcards and you're picking up your kid, you're waiting in line and you're just going through the flashcards. Like do a little bit every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it. I look forward to looking back at this video at the end of this semester and seeing what other things that I can learn from because I really don't want to get complacent. I want to really take advantage of this opportunity because I know that deep down somebody else wants to be in my position or even like it's something that I don't deserve honestly but I'm here God saw fit that I be here so I'm thankful and I appreciate you guys watching my video please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video Bye.